dumbass. You're burning the fucking toast again. Greetings, Internet. It's Dustin again with my HomeKit Home, bringing you all things Apple HomeKit from news to how to's to product reviews, just like this one. So, if that's something that you're into, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of our new videos as soon as they're released. Of course, we want a smoke detector to alert us of fire and smoke when we're home, but what about when we're not? Smart smoke detectors are far less common in the connected home space than one might think, and there are even fewer options for HomeKit users, and the ones that are out there can be pretty pricey. So in this video, we'll be looking at the most affordable option for HomeKit users, and that is the Mi Home Honeywell Smart Smoke Detector. So we'll pull it out of the box, we'll look at some of its features, and then we'll set it up and test it out. Then we'll look at some of the app features, and then I'll give you my final thoughts on it. Now before we go any further, I do want to mention that this smoke detector was developed in conjunction with well-known consumer home product manufacturer Honeywell for the Chinese market. This means that for insurance purposes, Purposes, it might not work for you, so you might want to consult your insurance policy or look at your local regulations. Also, since this is intended for the Chinese market, you'll need to import it from an international retailer like Banggood who sent us one for us to check out their service. Banggood allows you to import smart home devices and other goods that are otherwise a little bit difficult to find, and you can usually get some pretty sweet deals as well. So if you're interested, I left a link for the Mi Home Smart Smoke Detector as well as a landing page for all of their HomeKit compatible devices in the description box just below that like button. So let's have a look at what they sent us. Let's break this thing down, shall we? The Mijia Mi Home Honeywell Smart Smoke Detector is a fire and smoke alarm with an 80 decibel siren, which might not seem that impressive, but it will definitely get your attention. It does have adjustable sensitivity and a remote self-check feature, which we'll look at in a moment. It does have a physical button, which is used for the setup process for muting and for testing. Now it is a Zigbee accessory, so you will need some sort of hub. We're using the Acura hub, but you can use the Mi hub as well. It does require a half double A or CR123A battery, which will get you about five years of life. It does have an operating temperature from between negative 10 to 55 degrees Celsius, which is pretty wide. To expose this smoke detector to HomeKit, you do need to use the Acura Hub and therefore the Acura app. However, whether you're signed into the Acura app or using HomeKit mode, we don't have the option to add this smoke detector. However, three is a magic number. Ready to connect to child devices. Child device connected. All right, so let's see if this works. Got a little fire going here. We'll just hold it up. Oh, looks like that works. Okay, cool. And we got the notification. Cool beans. Let's look at some of the features of this smart smoke detector in the Acura Home app, the first of which is our daily and weekly OBS logs. Your OBS log is the log of your obscuration percentage. This is the amount of smoke in a room and how much of it is obscuring your vision, and this is a standard across the smoke detector industry. We can also see our Zigbee signal strength, which is the strength of the connection between your hub and the child device but we don't actually have a battery level indicator here in the app which is something that you might think is pretty important for something like a smoke detector it's also interesting because it is exposed to HomeKit, which we'll look at in more detail in a moment there are two primary features that I want to talk about here also the first of which is our sensitivity level so we can adjust this depending on the room that it's in so for example in a bedroom you might want a higher sensitivity whereas in a kitchen you might want a lower sensitivity we can also remote self-check the smoke detector so essentially when we do this it will emit a sound and you'll essentially just confirm that you heard the sound in the app and therefore you know that your smoke detector is in working order 
Turning our attention now to HomeKit and Apple's Home app, by tapping on the device and going into the settings, we can see whether or not smoke has been detected, and hopefully this is not where you're getting that information, but nonetheless, it's there. We also have the ability, as we mentioned earlier, to see the battery level in HomeKit. So, you know, the battery is rated for about five years, so I don't see this changing very often, but if that's something that you want, well, it's there. Um, in terms of automations, this is where we really start to see some of the magic behind the smoke detector. So, you know, we can use smoke detected as a trigger for automations. So what I would always recommend is have all the lights turn on. Um, I did speak with a firefighter buddy of mine. He did mention that having some ventilation. So if you have any home kit fans going, it might be a good idea to have those turn on. Um, you know, if you want to maybe set up an air purifier, if you have that in your home, that might also be a good idea as well. But in general, as far as I know, firefighters would prefer that most other electronics be turned off. So if you have anything connected to smart plugs, we want to go ahead and turn those off. If you're able to turn off your AC, any of those things, any of your other electronic devices, it's preferable to have those turned off. And lastly, we have our status and notifications. So we can decide whether or not we want our smoke detector to be included in our status report on the home tab. But we can also decide whether we want to have notifications sent to that device. We can decide if we want those notifications to come when we're home, when we're away, when a particular person is home or away. We can also have those notifications come in during a specific time of the day or any of that. So that's pretty useful. However, for me, since this is a smoke detector, if it detects smoke, I want to know about it. I don't care where I am. I don't care what time of day it is. If there's smoke, I want to know about it. Since three seems to be the magic number, let's go ahead and look at three pros and three cons for the Mi Home Smart Smoke Detector. First is the design. It is a very compact device and it fits inside the palm of my hand. I wouldn't say it's any bigger or any smaller than your typical smoke detector. It is pretty light as well, which means you can use the included double-sided tape and attach it to the ceiling or a wall without fear of it falling. In the event of a fire incident, you want to know about it as soon as possible. Zigbee is one of those protocols that's known for being reliable and pretty darn speedy. So although it does require a hub, I prefer that over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, which is what the competition uses. Regardless of which region you live in, it's recommended that you install smoke detectors at least in every bedroom and in your hallways. It's also recommended that you install them in larger open areas like living rooms, kitchens, and basements. So as you can see, this can add up pretty quickly. So I do appreciate the low cost of this smoke detector coming in at around $30, $40. It allows us to cover more areas of our home compared to some of the other options for HomeKit. Okay, so now onto the cons. As we mentioned earlier, this smoke detector is intended for the Chinese market, which means it's not readily available in all countries. So when importing it using an international retailer like Banggood, shipping times can vary pretty dramatically. And although I've never personally received any damaged products, your package may arrive a little worse for the wear. So though the Mi Home Smart Smoke Detector does work independent of a hub, which is a good thing, in order to get the most out of it, you'll want to connect it to a smart home hub like the Mi Hub, or in our case, the Acura Hub. So this does mean that you have the added cost of another device, and you do have a hub that you do connect to your Wi-Fi network. However, depending on your plans for building out your smart home, this may be a worthwhile investment. And lastly, earlier I heralded the affordability of the Mi Home smart smoke detector and I do think this is a good thing however it does come at a cost and that cost is with our features and as we saw we don't get a whole lot of them so unlike the competition we're not going to get things like airplay 2 speaker compatibility we're not going to have the ability for the smoke detector to listen for other smoke detectors in order to be able to respond to that but I do think that at this price point it is a good value so what are your experiences like with HomeKit compatible smoke detectors and even carbon monoxide detectors? 
What questions do you have about the Mi Home Honeywell Smart Smoke Detector that maybe I didn't answer today? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also below the video in the description box, you'll find of course a link to pick up the Mi Home Honeywell Smart Smoke Detector if you're interested. And we did write a full written review that we'll put over on the blog at myhomekithome.com. Of course, you'll find links to our social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at myhomekithome as well. As always, if you found today's video useful, you can let us and YouTube know by giving us a big thumbs up. It really does help out the channel and it helps others find our content and we really appreciate it. Now, if you're interested in more Acura related content with a HomeKit lens, you can check out this playlist here or you can check out this video here. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we will be producing more Acura related HomeKit content in the near future. Well, that's about all that I have for you today. I do thank you for watching until I see you in the next one. This has been Dustin with my HomeKit. Hope.